This should be a fairly short video <coughs> on the system sounds class which is a part of the uh, system.media namespace the same as system player or sound, pl sound player rather and basically the test program is just a uh, form with a list box that lists all the possible system sounds and it turns out there are only five so if we look at the uh, code behind I'm basically trapping the uh, selected index change which is the default event of a list box and based on uh, the selected item which I convert to string uh, either if it's asterisk I do system sounds dot asterisk play if it's beep I do system sounds dot beep play exclamation exclamation play hand hand play and question system sounds que question play and as I said in order to access this we need to specify using the system media uh, namespace so if we uh, compile and run this we see the five uh, system sounds that are listed and the first one there is no sound. The second one, there's a beep. The third one, exclamation. The fourth one is a, sort of a reverse exclamation. And the fifth one, there's once again no sound. So one question we might ask is, is there a way we can associate a sound with uh, these uh, other system sounds since there's only five and the answer is yes if we go into the control panel and go into sound and then select the sounds tab you notice here's the asterisk and if we select that initially there's a, a none selected so if we go down and try and find uh, something else to select I don't know what a good one is. Try this one. Oh, that's not too great. Uh, oh, that doesn't do anything. Uh, well, maybe I'll pause and try and find a good one. Well, this one's not too bad. Uh, Windows ringing. Ring in wave. And then for question, which also had a none, I tried selecting Windows Ring Out Wave, which sort of sounds like a busy signal. And so if we press OK, and then close the control panel, and then rerun our program, now if we press asterisk, we get the uh, sound we selected. And if we press question, we get the other sound we selected. So all five are, are now available. Well, I hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot. And I'd pre appreciate it if you'd subscribe.